PK in the universe and I'm racing to you with another video. And guys, I have to tell you, I'm seeing red, Ferrari red. And today I'm here to talk about OutRun for the Sega Genesis. Does it keep up with the arcade counterpart? We're going to discuss that. We're going to discuss that in this video. I mean, why play the Sega Genesis version when you can play the arcade version or any of the other OutRuns for that matter? I'm a big fan of the Sega Genesis version. It's my favorite version of the game. And I'm gonna tell you guys about it. I'm gonna go over a lot of different things in this video. I'm gonna talk about the arcade, of course. I'm gonna talk about what kind of game is OutRun. I'm gonna talk about the visuals, the gameplay, a few tips and tricks, and of course, my final thoughts on the game. So let's put the pedal to the metal and let's get right to this uh, review of OutRun for the Sega Genesis. Going to the arcade is a feeling like no other. Though arcades are not as popular or as common as they were in the old days, they still have this nostalgic value that just can't be replicated. If you've ever been to a good size arcade, it's a strong possibility that you've come across an OutRun arcade cabinet. The original OutRun arcade was released in 1986 and was created by the legendary Yu Suzuki, who has created some of the most memorable Sega classics, such as Hang On, Space Harrier, Afterburner, Virtual Racing, and of course one of the most iconic groundbreaking open world games ever, Shenmue, which is personally one of my favorite games ever, and I've talked about it on the channel quite a bit, especially in the early years of the channel. Fun fact, in the game Shenmue 2, there's actually an OutRun arcade cabinet that you can actually play in the game. But where did Yu Suzuki come up with the inspiration for this game? For research, he went over to Europe because his bosses thought it would be a little bit safer than going to the United States. And the problem with the US is there's a lot of really empty roads. Yu Suzuki was inspired to use the V12 Ferrari Testarossa because he saw one in Monaco and really liked the look of the car. In a matter of 10 months, the game OutRun was released to arcades, and this game was a smash hit. The arcade sold over 30,000 units worldwide. It was so popular that it's been poured to several consoles and home computers. It's been on everything from the Sega Master System to the Nintendo Switch. And to me, the version that stands out the most is the Sega Genesis slash Mega Drive version of OutRun. I personally think it looks great. Speaking of good looks, let's talk about the visuals of OutRun. Sure, OutRun on the Genesis slash Mega Drive may not match the graphical fidelity of the arcade version, but it is still super impressive for a console of its time. OutRun on the Genesis has a great color palette and some surprisingly detailed landscapes that really capture the essence of the OG arcade experience. I personally really love how the car looks and prefer the look over the arcade version. Sometimes when I play the arcade version on my Nintendo Switch, I look at the car and think to myself, this looks really pink, especially when the car flips. It looks really pink pink almost. Am I the only one who thinks that? Yeah, I'm probably the only one that thinks that. Whereas the Genesis version really captures the Ferrari red aesthetic in spades in spite of being on a more limited hardware. They tried to be so detailed with the arcade version, but in my opinion, sometimes less is more. Is this a racing game or a driving game? Some have said that OutRun is all about the thrill of high-speed racing, but I think that's a misunderstanding and oversimplification of the game. To me, that's like saying Road Rash captures the essence of high-speed motorcycle racing. To me, OutRun is not a racing game, but it is a driving experience that happens to have a checkpoint system to keep it interesting. Something like Horizon Chase Turbo is a racing game. You are actually racing other drivers in a game like that, and there are clear specific rewards and incentives, such as coin collecting, you got to pick up gas and get first and second, third place, etc. Whereas OutRun, you're driving through traffic and picking the route that you choose to do. I can also see the perspective of people who say, well, you're racing the clock. And that's a fair counterpoint, but I don't think it's the most important point of the game. I understand that Yu Suzuki's original vision was to make a game like Cannonball Run because that was a very popular movie, especially at the time. But I feel like it evolved so beyond that. I feel like this stands out as a racing game that turned into a driving experience that just happens to have a checkpoint system. It is the ultimate driving fantasy. It's truly a game that is about living in the moment. And even the composer of the music, Hiroshi Kawaguchi, said that the music was designed around the idea of a driving game and not a harsh racing game. 
So from my point of view, it definitely falls into being a driving game instead of a racing game. I feel like calling it a racing game is a bit of a stretch. Speaking of the game and how the game plays, let's talk about gameplay. The controls are super responsive and precise, and intuitive on the Sega Genesis. The trick with this game is to either break around the corners or shift down when going into the corners. In OutRun you have two gears, high and low. I personally prefer to use the downshift method and then I shift right back up. Now it's important to remember to shift back up, because I've made that mistake so many times when I'm playing the game and all of a sudden I realize I've been driving so far for a long time and I'm still in low gear and then I'm like, oh no, and then you really gotta pick up the pace. This game has so much replayability and various difficulty settings. One of the incredible standout features of OutRun is the ability to choose your own path. I think we all need to choose our own path, don't we? At the end of each stage, you're presented with a fork in the road, giving you multiple paths to choose from. This adds a layer of strategy and replayability as each route offers different challenges and obstacles and scenery. It's a nice touch that keeps the game fresh and exciting. Route A, which is when you go to the left at every fork in the road, is the most challenging route, and Route E, which is going all the way to the right at each fork, is the easiest. Having different paths makes the game perfect for anyone who wants to just do a quick drive or just wants to play for hours on end. The game really is in the hands of the driver, and that's what a driving experience should be all about, and OutRun masterfully captures this. So I want to give you guys a few tips and tricks that I actually got from this particular book here, this uh, Sega Genesis uh, Greatest Tips. It's from uh, the writers of GamePro. I don't know if you guys remember GamePro, the magazine back in the day, but uh, yeah, there's tons of tricks in here, over a thousand. So I thought, yeah, I'd share this book with you guys and tell you what I learned from this book. Is OutRun, even in the Pro mode, too easy for you? Well, fortunately, there's a Hyper mode. All you have to do is press the C button 10 times at the title screen to activate Hyper mode. Just like every game out there, every game has an end. And guess what? OutRun has an alternate ending. That's right, folks. When you get to the end of the game or you have a game over and you're asked to put in your name, put the name ending in it and it will actually give you this really interesting ending. Basically your car will start driving and you'll see like little signs and each sign has a person who worked on the game and then you get to a cutscene at the end. I don't want to spoil the cutscene for you. I will post a video in my community tab that's unlisted that has the actual alternate ending cutscene because I don't want to spoil it for anybody. I know the game's like you know, over 30 years old, but still, I don't want to spoil it for anybody. So, yep. Yeah, so those are two tips that you guys may or may not have known about OutRun on the Sega Genesis. The soundtrack of OutRun. I'm not going to go into too much detail about the soundtrack because I did talk about this in my um, OutRun Collection 2023 video. So if you want to know a little more details about what I think of the soundtrack, definitely go there. The OutRun soundtrack is iconic. I mean, what else can I say about it? It is the perfect 80s music to go with a driving game like this. The music is incredibly faithful to the original arcade. The fact that you get to pick your own music, like you were turning your dial on the radio of a car, was something exceptionally unique at the time. And other games such as GTA would emulate this in the future. There's not much more to that I can say about it that hasn't already been said. It's an incredible soundtrack. Now I'm going to give my final thoughts on OutRun for the Sega Genesis. OutRun on the Sega Genesis is a game I didn't know I needed. I had the Nintendo Switch uh, arcade version, thought that was good enough, but man, after playing the Sega Genesis version, I don't ever want to go back to the arcade version. Maybe that's an unpopular opinion and whatnot, but uh, I think the Sega Genesis version is inherently just so good and it's super accessible. The fact that it has a super easy mode makes the game much more accessible to just about anybody really and really lets you enjoy this game, enjoy the moment. This is an inher this is a game that really lit the match for me on OutRun and getting more into the OutRun stuff. This is a driving experience. This is the ultimate driving fantasy. You're driving through Europe basically. You're living in the moment. You have a fast car. This is a game that's all about touching grass, folks, and I think there's a lot of evidence to support it. For example, I had recently picked up this Sega Arcade Companion that I had gotten with my Retro Gamer magazine, and there's an interview with Yu Suzuki that really struck me, that really struck me, you know, that really further 
reiterates what I already believe about this game and that this game is all about living in the moment. And I'm gonna read a few little quotes for you guys, okay? This is from a quote where um, he was asked about the scenery of the game. And he said, and I quote, I wanted to make a game where you could enjoy magnificent changing scenery and landscapes while driving and really get a nice sensation from playing it. Not a stoic racing style of play. Not a racing style of play. And here's another quote where he's asked if the whole summer vibe of this game was intentional. And this is what he said. Yes, that's correct. I wanted to make stages where you could smell the fresh fragrance of new leaves and flowers, like in the green meadows of Switzerland. So I'm happy that you were able to sense that. Folks, Outrun's all about touching grass. No joke, it is a game about touching grass. What is touching grass, you might ask? Because maybe you don't know a lot about these internet speak and stuff like that. Well, people on the internet, you know, when they're going back and forth with each other and stuff, especially like on Twitter and whatnot, you know, sometimes people get a little too internet. You know, they take all this stuff way too seriously. So sometimes somebody will react by saying, go touch grass, which means go outside. And you know something? Touching grass is nothing new. When I was a kid, my dad would literally tell me to go outside. No joke. You know, I mean, I think a lot of our parents told us to go outside. But you know something? My dad needed to go touch grass. That's right, folks. But he didn't do that. He went for a drive because he was a grown adult man in the 1980s and 90s. And you know what kind of car he had? Did he have a V12 Ferrari Testarossa? No, he didn't. But he did have a 1969 Mustang Mach 1 red with white interior and a 351 Cleveland four barrel. That car was gorgeous and powerful, you know, and man, you know, a feeling of just getting behind the wheel of a red car with a powerful engine. There's something inherently special about that. But I feel like the game Outrun does a good job of giving you the feeling of driving a cool, fast red car and driving it to a special place, like these scenery that was created. That's why Yu Suzuki made this game. He made this game because, shoot, I'm a guy with a 2017 Ford Escape. I'm not gonna be getting in a red Ferrari Testarossa. But when I play this game, I can imagine that I'm in it. I can imagine I'm driving a cool car, going fast, and seeing the scenery, seeing this beautiful world that he has created. So that's what I love so much about OutRun. This isn't a game I want to just get through. This is a game I just want to slow things down and just live in the moment and drive really fast at the same time. There's just so much beauty in this world. And I feel like Yu Suzuki really captures that. And the Sega Genesis version is incredible. It is an incredible home version of this arcade, but in some ways feels even better because you're at home. You don't have to go to the arcade. You don't have to talk to other people. You can really be by yourself and just live in the moment. You don't have people waiting behind you, you know, waiting to put their quarter in. You're at home in the moment and playing this beautiful, gorgeous, stunning game. This game is an enjoyable driving experience with a reasonable amount of difficulty that plays exceptionally well and has an incredible soundtrack. This game is a must play for any Sega Genesis owner and is worth owning if you own a Sega Genesis. I'm telling you right now, folks, you need to get Outrun on the Sega Genesis if you have a Sega Genesis. Play this game any way you can, I'm telling you right now. But anyways, what are your guys' thoughts? What is your favorite version of Outrun? Comment below. I would love to hear what you have to say. Thank you all so much for watching and stay awesome in this universe. Thanks.